Hi, this is Kathy Camper from Multnomah County Library School Corps with Novelties 2020, and our topic is Mysterious Relatives. If you want to look at the websites I mentioned in the opening book talk, the URL links are all listed in the notes. The only black girls in town for grades three through seven. Although it's tough being one of only the black families in town, Alberta loves her life with her two dads in the small ocean community of Ewing Beach, California. She's fanatic about surfing and she and her best friend Laramie do everything together. But everything changes when another black family moves into the for sale bed and breakfast across the street. Edie's a goth girl who wears black lipstick, who's moved from Brooklyn to California with her divorced mom. On the surface, the two girls couldn't be more different, but having a black friend means Alberta finally has someone to commiserate with about the microaggressions she faces from school and community, and especially from bully Nicolette. The two girls discover a box of journals left behind in Edie's new home, written by a mysterious woman named Constance. The diaries, written in the 50s and 60s, talk a lot about how racism affected the, con the country, mentioning events like the murder of Emmett Till and the Montgomery bus boycott. Who was this woman, and why are the journals stashed in the B&B? &B? But as the girls start doing their own research about Constance, they stumble on a big secret, one that sharply restricted Constance's life, and one that shows up both differences and similarities between her life in the past and the girls' lives today. Some discussion topics would include alternative families. Edie's and Alberta's fam families aren't your typical nuclear families. Alberta has two dads and her family is vegetarian, while Edie is struggling with her parents' recent divorce. Contrast this with what Constance faced and how she had to live. What's changed? What things are similar? Friends, um, can you have more than one best friend? How did Alberta's new friendship change her relationship with her other friends? And racism, how did racism affect the families and how are its effects generational? So how did things that Constance felt still um, reiterate up to today? There are a couple of related websites, the author's website and an interview with the author. I can make this promise for grades three through seven. Edie has never known much about her own ancestry, except that she's half Native American and that her mother was adopted. But when she and her friends find a box hidden in her attic with photos of a woman that looks just like her and signs her letters with Edith, Edith becomes obsessed with finding out who this woman is. Why does she share this woman's name? Why have her parents never talked about this with her? And if they've kept the secret from her all this time, can she trust them to tell her the truth now? Edith's search for her true identity ends up connecting her to her Native American history of Seattle, as well as her family and best friend. Clean getaway for grade three through six. William Scoop Lamar, who is biracial but identifies as black, can't wait to get away from his school troubles and being grounded by spending his summer going on a road trip with his grandma instead. Jima, who's white, decides to use the Green Book as their guide for their trip down south, the same guide black folks and interracial couples use for safe travels during the 60s civil rights movement. But when Jima changes their car's license plates, refuses to answer phone calls from his dad, and talks in her sleep about fixing it, William begins to wonder how their trip connects to her unusual behavior. This book uses humor and drawings and illustrations, including maps, to cover some heavy topics. Thank you for listening to this video. You can get a full list of titles from all the novelties videos, find book discussion tips from Multnomah County Library. Please fill out our survey so we know how we can help you more and find more information about School Corps.